Matthew Jansen, and I'm in eighth grade at Randolph Middle School in Charlotte, North Carolina. And I'll be representing North Carolina in the 2013 National Geographic Bee. Here I am on the Blue Ridge Parklet overlooking Mount Mitchell at 6,684 feet, the highest peak east of the Mississippi River. Let's go! At nearly 7,000 feet, the summit of Mount Mitchell certainly appears more like Canada than in North Carolina, with this April snow and a fir tree. But now I'd like to take some time to explain to you a few of those questions about myself. If I could trade places with any explorer, I would choose Alfred Russell Wallace, due to his influences on the theory of evolution and his research involving the birds of paradise. One of those um, reasons why he's so influential to me is his research on the birds of paradise, because when I become an adult, I would like to be an ornithologist. And now I have my stumper for National Geographic. If Mount Mitchell is the highest peak east of the Mississippi River, then what is the second highest peak east of the Mississippi River? Well, the answer's right behind me. Mount Craig at 6,647 feet. And now let's head from Mount Mitchell to my hometown of Charlotte, North Carolina. Here I am in my hometown of Charlotte, North Carolina. Charlotte is the largest city in North Carolina with nearly 800,000 inhabitants. This is Bank of America Stadium, home to the Carolina Panthers, Charlotte's professional football team. You can take in a Panthers game, go to the Mink Museum, the Beckler Museum, or Discovery Place, or even the Nash Car Hall of Fame in Charlotte. There's plenty of things to do here. This is Tryon Street, the main road of Charlotte, North Carolina. And if I could go anywhere in the world, I would go to Papua New Guinea because of its fantastic wildlife. And I could go hiking and birding there. One of the ways I can smush all that information into my brain is by reading atlases and then rereading them again and looking at specific regions where you might have a difficult time memorizing. Also, playing the GOB game on the computer can help you with the studying as well. Good luck. This is the Little Sugar Creek Greenway, the crown jewel of Charlotte's park system. In 2006, Little Sugar Creek, formerly polluted and neglected, was transformed by the city of Charlotte into this beautiful natural park. But now we're heading east to the Outer Banks to experience the Atlantic coast and some of the other sites in North Carolina. On my way to the Outer Banks, I'm making a quick stop in Raleigh, our state's capital. Here's the capital of the building right behind me. It was built from 1833 to 1840 on the largest of Raleigh's planned squares. Here we are at Lake Madame Mesquite, North Carolina's largest natural lake, stretching 18 miles long and 7 miles wide. And let's go get a closer look. Despite its large size, Lake Madame Mesquite averages only 2 to 3 feet deep. Here we are at the Cape Hatteras National Seashore, and we're on our way to see the Cape Hatteras Lighthouse, an iconic symbol of North Carolina. Where the Tatra and the Fatra are, are located. 
This statue was unveiled in 2002 and is a replica of the events that went on in December 1903 when the Wrights made the first power flight. Now let's head to the Atlantic Ocean to finalize our fascinating journey through North Carolina.